hello everyone uh, this uh, video tutorial I'm going to continue with the um, grid uh, let me go and explain a uh, few things about this grid we have finished the grid system of 20 by 20 uh, but now I also want to mention that we have one two three four columns is rotated uh, like 45 degrees but the columns doesn't rotate only the this walls rot 45 degrees and another one over here and also we have the circular structural for the stair itself and um, and we have this shafts which is goes through the entire building this code doesn't change floor to floor and this guy here so I um, will I don't know the dimension but just by reviewing the floor the floor plans I could tell you what the dimensions are and also guys see this um, lines the score lines those are not um, walls these are pattern and flow so if I explain that in a picture so this is the um, that line so these are the stone they are like a s scored and this is the columns which you're looking at in flow plan which is 12 by 12 um, and also this partition over here in the flow plan which is like this those are the partitions so if you look zoom if you if you look close into it see this about like four and a half inch partitions or five inch partitions here and this is the full floor here flow score so we're going to draw that uh, we're going to examine that and we're going to draw that in some cases they looks like windows but uh, i will say talk to your professor about this and also look at the pictures which you took in the field trip and also uh, trip, a small tip about this uh, stair here um, if you look closely this line is aligned with this column over here so basically what this if you think this call if, if if you think that this is 20 feet from the column to column and and this column is center of these two columns so that means about 10 feet and same thing will happen over here so what happened we don't have the column in here but we have these four columns which is rotated uh, at, at the same time if you look here these are the floor patterns so if, if you count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have ten pattern uh, here uh, and this is 20 feet so each of them are two feet apart so if you look closely here if these are two feet apart and here this is like almost like half a size in between this uh, this wall end in the between over here so this wall basically two and a three feet wall over here two plus one foot is three feet so the shaft is almost like uh, is 20 feet here 20 feet so if you if you if you could think uh, this is like a if you divide this into four and you 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 could get that part over here F I will recommend that on um, looking at the video tutorial about 3.4 I believe um, where I teach you guys how to insert an image and scale them so basically now I have scaled this image and when by scaling this this will give me approximate not exact but it will give you some kind of hint about what the dimensions for example if I do DLI from center of this column to center of this column it will give me some dimensions which is 39 feet 11 so that is kind of I won't say wrong it's almost close because see the this is I mean, this is like two base 20 20 is 40 so this is like 39 11 and so, so it's it's almost 40 feet there so 39 40 feet yeah see that so if you measure this over here if I would de-enter set current okay and close if I do DLI again and if I zoom in here to here this is 11 feet 10 inches so basically I will make this into um, yeah 11 feet 10 inches if I do DLI over here that is 17 feet 7 inches so 
you don't have to go with exact them just all rounded up uh, but talk to your professor about this but this is I'm pretty sure that this is like 10 feet nine something that so what we're gonna do we're gonna offset this line here 10 feet or o enter for offset 10 feet that is the, that line over here and this is also another 10 feet offset 10 feet so now you can see that that's the column over here projecting and now um, this is the number six column so I'm gonna count one two three four five six offset 10 feet offset 10 feet so this is where my column gonna go so I'm gonna do a polyline from this point to that point that point that point that point we'll take this column move it here I'm gonna copy this C O four copy. I'm gonna click here, click here, click here. Okay, guys. Now I'm gonna do M A. I'll match properly with that. So for the L T S, ninety six is supposed to be dashed. So this is my first column here. Now I could simply take all this Control C four copy and copy this using the center line. I'm gonna paste it here. I'm gonna delete this guy. So that's my column here. So this is the column which I was missing. So now, now let's go and draw the circle part of here. So if I look closely, see this column line one, two. There's a column is missing here, there, and also there's a column missing here. There's the column missing here. So this is number six column. So on number six D, if I go to number six D, if you think there's three feet three from both side, if I do a DLI enter almost like it's five foot six almost six foot see that? so if I offset three feet three feet which is D number six here offset 36 inches both side and I'm going to take this column out and if I look closely I have a, I, I will take the third column out as well that column doesn't belong there and I don't have no column from 4 all the way to after 4 to 9 so the 5th columns and the 7th column and eight, these columns are not there ok guys on this floor so what I'm going to do this is I'm going to trim this 36 inch over here so I will say that now if you want you could add in the column this is the the other extra column here so usually instead of if I am adding a column in the middle of it I usually put this as 5.5 because that's between the center of the 6 and um, 6 and uh, 5 so if, if I had to put close here I will put like 5.1 or 5.2 and same thing with this guy I'm going to put 6.5 but if your professor asks you to put number them 5, 6, 7, 8 please do that as well but in real life I believe I will do like this so now I know that that is 6 and do you do the same thing for this F I don't know if you put F.5 or FF so it's up to you guys. Okay, I'm just going to put F.5. See your for copy and copy. Then also just look at this gap over here as well, guys. Or you could say E E E two E one E three. So this are and also offset this ten feet here as well that's your column grid ok guys so we have all the columns and now we can see that there's a 10 feet 10 feet apart and also now is uh, this will be easy now what I'm going to do guys I will put this in the wall layer A 
a wall interior and I'll take these two lines remember we created the last time a wall exterior okay guys when you make this wall make sure that you start from the uh, let me do this again so that you will know this I will delete this REC for rectangle I'm going to click on this corner go all the way down to here if you're doing the first floor guys offset one foot two inches okay if you're doing the second and third floor offset 12 inches which is like that so this is your wall and this is your second first floor wall thickness and this is second so if you look at it anyhow they all lines up here and there okay and also guys I would like to uh, bring this up um, this is the the first floor and this is the the uh, retails place the column is not touching the the curtain wall over here not it's not a curtain wall it's a, a um, sh the storefront so just make sure that you guys do that and this is the outside you can see that see, this is the the first floor column the second floor column step inside so this is 14 inches there's 12 inches and also it steps in here as well so you can this is one this column is different these two columns are same this column is different and this column is different over here and if you're working with the curtain wall system be careful that the column the um, the curtain wall panels also different as well and if you look closer here this corner here you could see that you see that this comes and step down here and also this comes and step down this become a bigger column here so guys just make sure that you guys get this right also you could see that over here as well and this car this column look it's the same column inside too and you could see that this is the same thing the columns over here this is the floor slab guys okay and this is the circular stair which we can draw now okay so what I'm going to do now so now I know that this is uh, three feet from this column but I had to get this distance over here so if this is three feet look at this door over here guys if I draw a line straight from the door that comes all the way up here so this is do door is three feet this is almost a three feet as well so it's three foot three so I'm gonna make three foot four offset three feet four inches okay MA match probably MA enter click on the line the line same thing now I'm gonna make a circle is 10 feet which is th if the circle is 10 feet measure that yes and plus the wall thickness so <coughs> from outside outside the circle see that let's turn on on the uh, quad see this quad over here so if I right click on this area here so I could turn on my quad now I could click on the f all four side tangent of these circles so if I do DLI enter click here click here I tell me that circle is 20 feet okay guys so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this quad move it to the center of this guy here okay you can see that see this column over here and the circles stick out a bit over here so if this is if this is our column here this the circle sticks out so I'm going to make this whole things a little smaller because if I measure this if I measure from the top and outside, the outside, so about 19 feet. So, just going to leave it as a 10 feet diameter, and I'm offset 8 inches inside for that um, circular stair. And also, I'm going to offset this outside, outside, because I want to get the wall thickness. This is my interior wall. 
match property now I want to delete this guy okay now I'll draw a line from here to here another line from here to here that's my opening for the stair that's my opening for the stair and you have a s square in the center now I'll teach you guys how to get the square as well so um, first of all, let me go and trim this TR trim this inside one and raise those two I'm I will do XL enter V for vertical I'm going to use a quad here there's a quad here again horizontal XL quad here quad when I say quad I mean I'm using this quad points now I'm going to offset this 48 inches inside both all of them offset for but if you look closely here the stair is almost like from the outside to inside it's about six foot three I'm gonna make six foot four so I will go and offset this six foot four inside okay before you do anything guys let's go and lock this column grid layer okay I'm gonna click on the layer I'm gonna lock it and also I'm gonna lock the column as well okay so now I have locked the columns so now it's like grayed out so you can erase a move because I have seen the people have moving their column so it's very bad offset three feet I assume it's six foot four inches inside 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 offset inside and right now we we'll use F enter for fillet F enter click one corner click the other corner click one corner click the other corner it's like trimming and uh, trimming both at the same time so that's my fillet so that's my interior of this opening so I'm going to offset this again backwards four inches for the railing so I'm going to offset this like, so let's look at the picture for a second I want to show you this so this is the whole stair which we are drawing okay let this place open to below all the way and you look at this so this is a railing and we have almost like uh, this railing goes all the way up we have space here like, like inch and a half for two inch then we have another two inch for the um, for the railing okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to join this J for join okay offset two inches and offset another two inches for railing okay so this is the floor line so this is the open open space that's the opening it's open there that's a railing to people to go around so let me go and trim this air guy here trim that I'm use F enter for fill it I'm going to fill this guy again fill this and MA for match property click that so that's your circular stair now of course guys you could do the same thing for this guy too okay you could offset that and that's big that that is becoming a part of it now to get these walls is follow flow patterns one two three four five six six flow pattern guys what you will do simply divide it so one two three four five six everything one two three four five six everything six equals what so uh, what I will do I will draw a line could pick anything for example uh, this time I'll do from this column to center of the column to center of the column div we'll put six enter and delete the line you'll see a point so I have one two three four five six you can see that this point if you want to click on Excel we enter if you, if you want to click on the points you right click here you got to turn on the uh, nude if the node is not on, you you cannot you cannot click on the um, line, guys. So what I will do, very simple thing, okay? You make a new layer. Before that, let me go and delete this guy here, these pieces. I don't need them anymore. So I'll, I'll make a new layer. <coughs> okay, I, s I will call them A floor pattern 
be a d-pad and I will make that into yellow or red now in this case I will make them the number 8 okay and set current close it so if I XL enter horizontal so let's change the flow the color to this guy okay so now the floor plan goes start from this wall and trim it it goes all the way to this guy here if you want you could do one floor pattern and since it's they all have a various one you could change them or you could simply have one going straight but in this case I will I will say just have one of them just have one of these then once you do one of them and you could just simply do the others I'll show you how so let me go ahead and move this to this corner here move to I'll start off in this corner okay so div for divide I want to say six segments then I want to say that's my points select them move them down so I could see it I'm, I'm let me turn on the, off the grid so you could see it see that if you click here you could turn on the grid I usually don't use the grid just don't use it so I'll just X I'll enter V for vertical click here all of the points okay and TR for trim click on the bo top and the bottom enter enter so now these are your grid system I mean flow pattern so what I will do, I'll take this, and if you want, you could um, you could leave the mirrors, or you can make it into block. And just copy this everywhere. I want to mirror this to the other side. Okay, that's my last piece over here. I'll make a copy of this side. Leave it just in case if I need to use it. And also, I'll I'll make another copy of this to the side. This one I'm gonna rotate it just f just to just to you know keep it uh, easy to copy it this is the door which I made in last cl uh, video so just I'll keep that on the side so I'm going to copy CEO for copy I'm going to use this select them I will use one of the corner and I'm going to copy this everywhere wherever I need it so that is now it's very easy to f finish the floor plan guys once you once you have that and this, this is the partition Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. It's a four. Of, of, um, f take four, uh, four of these uh, b um, boxes, and if you look closely, if I measure this, it simply is like four and a half inches. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I will draw another, another XL enter. I'll put it in the center of this. Center of this. Okay center of that and then what are you going to do I'm going to offset 1 1.25 if I offset 1.25 it will give me four and a half inches so I'm going to do another rectangle REC enter click here I'm going to go one two three four which is this then I'll delete these guys here I'll delete that so that's my door wall partitions interior wall so just want to show you which one is oops sorry I just want to show you what is which one is that where's my image here is it here is it that's this partition over here okay that's what we have we we seeing that on all the drawings so I'm going to go now click here and I'm trim inside that I don't need that okay so please guys go ahead and fill the fill it out and once you make one of these you know copy this as well and you could move, move it to the side use center line of that center line of that 
copy this to the site as well. Rotate that and click and move it here. Using the center line of that, I'm going to move it to the center of this here. That's my portion. That's my. So I'm just going to go through here. So in here, it's in the middle. So what do I do? Just copy this. CO. Use the center of that. Midpoint. <coughs> I come to the center of that, and that's it. Boom. I'll delete these inside lines. Try make sure that you lock the column grid. If not, you'll be trimming your column grid, guys. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and do the rest here? Now I'll sm give you a small hint about this guy here. You c either you could measure this off of your plan, or you could, you know, just use the saw like eight inches walls around it. So you you'll use this column over here. If I use Excel, Enter, Horizontal, see that that lines line up with this guy here. See that the exterior of the column and the exterior of this here is the same thing. So basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this column here, offset eight inch. Okay, then also be carefully look at the plan. The this wall over here is eight inch, which starts outside the column, goes here, and also but this wall here, half of this wall here, which is four inches over here. So this uh, this uh, this um door stairs are like 44 inches plus the 4 inch and the railing and the doors are 36 inches so make sure that you guys get this uh, right okay guys and that's how you do the walls and that's how you do the circular wall and for this um, for this diagonal walls you'll draw the diagonal wall and offset them inside and outside okay so hopefully this will help you to move, move forward with your assignments let me do go ahead and delete this trim that's one of your wall and I'll do wall from here to here offset 8 inch okay that's this wall over here and again offset 4 inch for interior wall EX that is that F enter for filling it so I'm using very simple commands fill commands so that's my first wall okay now if I take the center line of this okay guys and offset two inches for my railings two inches and two inches on both side and offset 44 inches on both side okay another two inches for the railing okay guys and no offset another let's look at this offset another eight inches Okay, that's my whole stair. I'll I'll draw, I will draw another line. Start from outside. Yes, I'll start from outside. So I'll start from here. I'll draw a line. Go straight here. Offset eight inches inside. And trim this. Trim that. This my wall over here. Now, if you look here this wall comes back and goes in here in here like so this is almost like a four feet from the wall three foot ten it's almost like yeah, three foot ten four feet from the wall yeah so what i will do i will offset this 48 inches okay mm. so I'll offset 48 inches from here like that Okay, guys. Offset eight inches inside. And I'm gonna fill this using fill command. Trim all of this. Okay, that's inside, and I'm gonna trim the inside as well. So now, if I use fill trim command, I can trim all of this. So I'm just selecting, clicking them out, and MA for match property guys and you you could put this in the right layer for offset five feet you see that that landing comes 
almost here so that means uh, four feet offset four feet here and then trim everything out so you'll go and finish this this wall okay guys all right thank you and if you have any question please come to the workshop or email me uh, i'll post another video of our dim stars and uh, how to finish off the rest of the floor plans thank you guys